Welcome back, heroes, to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode, we entered the Grand Prix and we had probably one of my favourite series of duels. Basically where Yusei has to take on all the um, Unicorn Riders by himself and dude, that's so cool. Someone told me there's a 5Ds game. I'm not sure what platform it's on yet, but um, I should play it because you can actually do the duel. Like, um, you know, you lose some life points, next duel you have the same amount of life points and cards. And that actually sounds so good, I really want to do that. So um Gonna find out what the game is and maybe give that a play at some point, but Duel for Redemption! Alright, I can't remember who this dude is, but plays Jack Atlas, so this can be fun. So, Team 5Ds came out victorious. Their next match was against Team Ragnarok. Oh yes, the Ragnarok people! So we got like four Odin, um, the Nordic Beasts. I love this deck. So the mighty uh, Asuka, Asuka cards. Three cards that were rumoured to rival the power of the gods. The first duel uh, was between Jack Atlas and Dragon. Or Dragon? Dragon. Wait, Dragon. Oh, dude. I remember, like, when these cards came out, I wanted to build the deck, but I'm pretty sure, at the time, <laughs> these, like, Nordic Beast decks were absolutely trash. Like... Alright, so I got absolutely smashed by, um, Dragon. I had an abysmal hand, and I was trying desperately to get out Red Nova Dragon. Like, I probably could have beat him if I didn't just keep stalling to try and get this bad boy out like I don't mind losing as long as I can get the card out <laughs> like I'm trying to get this card out for you guys just because it's so cool like I forgot this card ever existed like thinking back I think this came out in a tin like, when it first got released in the UK so I think that's how I got it it's so cool man but it's, it's a level 12 and you need two tuners and red dragon arts for you to make it so um we're gonna try and make it again but hopefully this time do a little bit better just summon that and end our turn. You're like, I got Red Dragon Archfiend out, I was destroying him, and I thought, I'm gonna wait and let, you know, just try and get um, what I need. And then he got Odin out, not Odin, sorry, four. And uh, four just absolutely uh, wrecked me. And if you return me to hand, I swear to God. He's gonna return me to hand. No, he's not, cool. Uh, Chameleon's actually pretty good at it as well. Um, best thing to do is if we just summon this. Battle phase. Let's attack because I'll get returned to hand. Or we both get destroyed. Okay, that's fine. Don't mind that. Okay, so the Chameleon can get like anything from the graveyard that's um, has zero attack. I think it's a bit of a four as well, or under. Oh, it's something with zero attack. Yeah, so we'll summon it. So we can get one of these things, and then we can make it's a tuner as well, so we can get Red Dragon Archfiend out fast. And then we could probably pinpoint, oh not pinpoint, uh, Call of the Haunted, that's a four. Next, Red Dragon Archfiend, we need it. There's a trap card that can make it level seven. That'll be good, but otherwise we need a level, a, free, a level 3 tuner, a level 1, or we need two level 2s. We need to lower it and have a 4 on, four on 1. Right. You want to attack me, I dare you. Uh, yeah, it's fine. He's got a trap card as well in his deck that I absolutely hate, man. He's got breakthrough skill. Negate the effect of a monster, and then when he goes to the graveyard, you can banish that card and do it again, like... A turn later. So annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna summon this. I'm gonna wait a little bit, stall a little bit, just till we can. I know I can get Red Nova out. No, I don't want to activate anything. Just wanna attack. Okay, that's <laughs> kind of annoying. Both destroyed. Uh, and then we will end turn. Cool and hide, okay. I'll take the one thousand six hundred, that is no no problem. Oh another 
cool, haunted, nice. Okay, so what if we do this now? Let's get Red Dragon Art Chain. Alright, let me sink these guys. Get this bad boy. Nice. Okay. Alright, so I'm not messing around. Alright, battle phase. Let's take you out. Should destroy this dude as well. And then turn. Was it my ones? Oh, yeah. Oh, I still have a defense position one, okay. And this resolve defense position ones, I suppose it's just anything that doesn't attack. Uh you got a special summon sign level three or lower from the deck. That's fine. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That's annoying. We got a fake villa though, so we can always do that. That should work, right? Oh, but it's got to be, um, I've got to let him flip it, don't I? It's got to be main phase. That's four. Do we need to lower yours or just... His deck's so annoying to get Red Nova out. It's doable. But you just need the cards when... Yeah, man, I have them. <laughs> right, let's do some massive damage to you, though. Nice. And again. I don't mind that in the graveyard, to be honest. I just want to get rid of his cards. And then... Come on. Flip that Raikou. Do it. Do it! Okay, it's fine. Right, this should still work. Quick effect. Use effect failure. Negate the effect. But isn't the mill in a cost? I mean, he still might mill, because that's a cost. Pretty sure. No, maybe he doesn't mill then. Okay. Okay, I didn't mill though. <laughs> and now it stays in attack position like that, ready to get wrecked. Oh, we, I can win this turn. But I don't want to, I just want... I just want to get Red Nova out. But I can't. It's actually so annoying. I want to win, but I want Red Nova out, so I'm just going to stall a little bit. This cost me the door then. I'm sorry. I just... I want to get him out, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. That wasn't going to do anything, but... That was just... Why? That was silly. Yep, you go in attack mode. Well, now you can like, use it to uh, stop the effect and destroy the rest of them. Alright, can we get it? No, we can't get it now. That's still good, though. We've got two ones. Just try and make it with, like... Has it got to be two tuners? Oh, it says two or more. Or one or more. No, that's that one. Oops, my bad. Yeah, it just says two tuners. I can't use, like, three or four. So, let's just... Attack Raikou. At this point, just like toying my food, man. Like, I don't know what 
in my deck I could get, you know? The trap card, but that means Red Dragon Election has to die. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Might have to let him get four out. What's this? Uh sure. Oh, give me the card I need. I don't want to activate anything. It's gonna be worth it. I mean, well, literally all we can do is get the card out and then just win. But it's it's, it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be worth it. Because like, if I had that, if Red Dragon Archer was in the graveyard, that trap card can bring it back. Comes level seven. I use Mask Chameleon. Get out Effect Failure. Then yeah, you go. That's five stars plus Red Dragon Archer is seven. That's a twelve star. Then bam. Oh, okay. Uh, this card is used. Send to the graveyard as a synchro material until the end of that symmetry is used as a uh, against control attack. Fix on the gate, okay. Don't want to use that for um <laughs> for Red Nova, but uh, it's gonna summon you. Does look kind of cool though. Okay, just gonna attack for like a cheeky, you know, one five. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna get really bad when. All oh, right, Red Nova can't be destroyed by card effects. So like, I don't know, unless he breakthroughs me, then does it? I don't know. I'm not too worried. Also, I'm at the same time. Have to call the haunted. Great. Oh, I meant to summon it. Oops. <laughs> My bad. It's gonna. Attack you for like a cheeky like 300. Oops. Oh, almost set tomorrow, okay. I didn't get the uh, effect because it was destroyed by effect damage, wasn't it? Because of a Dragon Arch Fiend. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, I forgot to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. My bad. Oh, and there's got to be something in the deck that can just get it out. Effect failure, great. <laughs> there's nothing to do. All right, I'm going to cut to when we get Red Nova out because I think we're going to be here for a very long time otherwise. Alright, so I let him get four out. He destroyed Red Dragon Arch Fiend, which is perfect, that's what we want. So now we are going to summon Chameleon. Took so long, man. So long. Activate the effect. Uh, get Effect Veiler. And then we are going to. Oh, I can't special summon because of that. Oops. That actually was a big oopsie. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, oh no, I can't attack anything. Because if I attack, I win. Oh, actually no, I can attack Mystic Tomato. 200, it's fine. Okay. That's fine. Next turn. We get it. Oh, dude, I forgot about the whole noise special thing with Chameleon. Had my like eyes set on what I wanted to do for so long. It's all good. Just gotta wait. Okay. Make a second attack during battle. Great. When we learn that happen, um, cannot be targeted by card effects while this card is on the field. Send this card to your graveyard. Okay. It's fine. So we take that. It's fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. And then activate pinpoint guard. Let's just get this. That will do. He 
can't destroy it. Oh, don't you dare return to hand, though. Good. Wh why would you negate the effect? <laughs> it's not gonna do it. What? Okay. That's fine. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but check out later, because I think I'm just gonna win now. Go for this. Get Red Dragon Archfiend. It's now level 7. And then we're just gonna normal summon Effect Failure. Feels so bad, man. <laughs> this dude led him on for so long. Summon this. Finally! Red Nova Dragon! And that little Raikou is going to get attacked. I don't know how much attack points we're going to have, but... I don't know, we can get rid of that trap as well. We have how much attack? Probably a lot. 8,500! Ooh! Just going to eat that trap up though. Special summon this bad boy. And we can do this right. Uh... Yeah, it's gonna. Might as well. Just do it to your Odin. <laughs> Why not? Alright, this face down. I know it can't destroy me, it can't be fit by card effects. Cool. Let's win. Such overkill, but so worth it. <laughs> oh, man. That duel took almost an hour because <laughs> I was just playing around. But tricking the trickster, all right. So Jack Alice was able to defeat Dragon, but he was quickly dispatched by uh, Team Ragnarok's next duelist, Broda. So Crow got his chance in the Grand Prix. Crow vs Broda was next. All righty. Can't remember how this duel goes, but I assume we now have Blackwing Dragon. And I forgot how Blackwing Dragon plays, but let's go second. Ooh, okay. Got sure the blue flame. Try very easily recognize. Um, this card is short time by power and the graveyard special more black monster from your well, one thousand five hundred left from your deck, but it's okay, okay. Right. So let's just summon you. Go straight for the battle phase. Kill that. Mirror Force. Cool. <laughs> what a way to start the uh, the duel. Mirror Force and Shura. So an opponent monster declares an attack on a Blackwing monster you control. Banish all face up types of monsters your opponent controls. If you, if you control exactly three Blackwing monsters and no other monsters, you can activate this card from your hand. Oh, okay. It's pretty sick. All right. Just got to take the attack, don't I? Well, it was Armor Master. Is it six or is it seven? Okay, that's fine. What we can do is this. Get back, Shura. Nope, don't want to be effect. And then we make you level four. And get Blackwing Dragon. Well, I wonder if Blackwing Dragon's got a uh, effect. I hope so. Well, I say effect, like, um, like a video animation. Like Star and Red Dragon Archfiend. Which I doubt it because Power Tool didn't. Yeah, oh, I was kind of expecting one for a little bit. So if you take uh, damage from a card effect, place one Black Feather Counter on this card instead. This card loses a similar attack for each Black Feather Counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove all Black Feather Counters from this card, then target one face of monster your opponent controls. That target loses a similar attack for each Black Feather Counter you remove, and if it doesn't, take damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by the card effect. Right, uh. Let's go straight for a battle. Please don't mirror force me again. That would suck. Cool. Alright. You'll go. Oh, okay. Let's 
kind of annoying. That's the enemy Icarus attack, but you can't respond to that stupid card. That's annoying. And Defender, okay. Will the countless do again? Can move one spell counter from your side of here, okay. So I essentially got to attack that twice. Summon this. Get Bora again. And then we end. If we wait for him to attack, so we're gonna banish it. It's not gonna destroy, so the effect on the counter shouldn't work. Hey. And I'm just gonna banish you. Is it just for the turn or does it always. Yes, yeah, so I can now switch to attack position after, can't I? Okay. Oh, Black Whirlwind, okay. So it's uh, less attack. It's kind of annoying, but just summon this. Black Whirlwind, what can we get? into attack. We can make armor master or... Yeah, um... I don't think I'd do it. I actually want to make armor master at the moment. I want to destroy this, get a special summon if I can. Right, cool. Guess we get Gale. One free. Attack number one free, then attack for 1,100. And I'm not gonna synchro just yet, we need to, actually, to be fair. I can just win normally. The thing I love about Black Wings, like when I used to use them back when like the first came out, it's just how far she can just swarm the field of them. So good, man. Okay, cool. Gonna pop that Vicarous attack and then we win. Eh, might as well. Just like that, and then this one. Nope, that one. <laughs> what do we pop? Trap card? Okay, I don't know what it is, but it's all good, and then... Let's just win, if we can. And last one. Easy peasy. Alright, cool. So, Crow and Broder ended in a draw, eliminating them both. Ooh. I remember it being a draw, that's kind of cool. The final round came down to Yusei versus Haldor. Okay. So, trick in the tricks the two. So this is the guy with uh, Loki. This is Destiny's moment. Now whom will she favour? The path walked by we with ruins in our eyes, or the path walked by those bearing the mark of the Crimson Dragons. Do me a favour, Haldor. Leave Destiny out of this. That's just you and me, and the cards we play. Nothing else matters. Now let's do this. Hey hey. I'm ready. Okay, uh, rock A. Hey. And we will go second. And for going second. One of my favourite ever rules introduced in the Yu-Gi-Oh! was like when you go first you don't draw a card. That 
was so good. Oh, okay, can we get shooting Star Dragon? We've got Glow Up Bulb. I think we might be able to. Dude, I remember the day Glow Up Bulb got uh, unbanned. So happy. We get Majestic Star Dragon as well. Okay, so one Tuna Synchro, Synchro Monster, and Star Dragon. So we need um, Formula Synchron. And it's going to the graveyard, you can send it to the top of your deck to the graveyard, and if you do spell some of this card. Okay, um. When this card is normal signing, it's a token. Okay. I don't know what to do at this point. <laughs> Like, there's so many things we could... They got, these cards have all got so many effects, but like... I guess we just get Glow Up Bulb in the Graveyard for now. Like, they've got individual effects that are pretty good, but... At this point in time, they don't really work together. <laughs> oh, dude. Right, uh... The problem is, I don't know how I'm going to get Shooting Star by getting Formula Synchron, and I need to get like Stardust out, use this effect to bring it back as a normal monster, and then get Formula Synchron, then go from there, but that's going to be the hard part. Right. Let's just set you. Alright, and end. He's going to get low-key out, 100%. Oh, snap. Okay, this is bad. But they get a lot of damage. Okay. Here comes Loki. Oh, Odin. Okay. Ooh, makes sense he has like, the big boss one. I'm about to say, like, I, I thought he'd have Odin, but... Wait, when he said Loki, I assume Loki. So once per turn, you can make this card unaffected by spell and trap effects at the end of this turn. Okay, that's fine. Once per turn, during the end phase of this face-up card, you just control destroyed by the opponent's card, of card and sent to your graveyard this turn. Okay, that's fine. Right. So... Let's... Activate Glow Up Bulb's effect. See if we can get something to put in the graveyard. Ooh, Sonic Chick. Okay. Uh... Right. <laughs> now what do I do? Um, don't want to banish that. this. Get Sonic Chick. And we are going to get Formula Synchron. So that's one piece of the puzzle done. Go call the horns, we can get it back, so we just need to get Stardust now, and then we are good. this. Um, opponent's life points is at least a thousand higher than yours. Pay a thousand life points for one card for every two thousand points difference between your life points and your opponents. Uh, can I select the number of points? Because if not, that's like three thousand life points gone. Draw three cards. But, so, yeah. Right, next as well, I don't want... Mm. 
that getting destroyed. So let's. Right, it's fine. Then Junction can come back. Okay. It's actually kind of difficult trying to get shooting the star out. Just kind of hoping you would um let me decide the position of the card then. Oh, that take a lot of damage, dude. That's all I can say. Oh snap. Okay, this is bad. Mm, I can do. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Right. Odin's eye, oh, okay. It's fine. I think this is what we have to do. I think this works as well. Right. I think this works. So let's go Junk Synchron. Yes, I do the effect. Gonna get this dude. Please work, please work. Right, next we're gonna get Junk Warrior. And then we're gonna activate Call the Haunted. Get Junk Synchron back. And then we get Stardust. Okay. So far, so good. this. It's 4,000 attack and I forgot what this does. Right, so we can still banish the target, okay. Right, we're gonna get shooting star out. But we might lose still, so we'll see. I think this works, I think this works, I think this works, so activate Call the Haunted, Formula Synchron. Nope, don't activate that. No, I don't activate that stupid card. It's got to be during the main phase. Now we can activate it. Shooting star. Oh, okay, we got shooting star out. We got there in the end. If he summons a monster, it's over though. That's the problem. Okay. Oh, it ends the battle phase, I thought. It just ends the, uh... The, um... 
Stupid. I don't want to use a hope for escape at all. So I'll make sure I get shoot and star back. Right, no. Yes, I can effect suit shouldn't start. No, I don't want to activate that stupid thing. Don't want to chain anything. Shooting star comes back. Okay, right. Dude, this is stressful. <laughs> cool, the haunted, nice. Does it straight up in the battle phase then? Negate the next attack. Okay, yeah, I don't know why he didn't attack me. Either way. Uh, I'm just gonna set you for the sake of just having a bit of extra defense. And a bit of effect. Don't want that. We need monsters, don't we? Come on, monsters! Monsters! Hey! Hey! Got two. And I think we can't attack that, can we? Unless attack Odin. Can't attack. Uh. So yeah, you can activate the top five cards. Number of attacks per battle phase. Oh, number of tuna monsters excavated. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was just monsters. Oh, that's bad. We just should just attack. Now you can look at my stuff if you really want. Okay. Okay. I think he's gonna win. I actually got a plan for that actually, so it's fine. Yep, it's fine, he's not winning yet. No, not that. Stardust Dragon. You ain't winning just yet, boy. I got some tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> no, I don't have to wait that. Always get worried that I'm gonna miss the like, you know, the prompt to act, bring star or shooting star back. Do not want that. Like, I don't know how we're gonna win this game, by the way. <laughs> Like, Odin just kind of seems just there and I can't do much. I mean, that definitely helps a little bit, actually. Right. So we've got to set you. Oh wait. Oh, does that mean I can't attack? Oh no, I can. For some reason I think they can't. Oh no. Ow! That really sucked. That really sucked. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Oh boy, this is bad. I think we lose anyway now. Right, okay. That's fine, it's effects are negated, so... If you go to battle phase, I'll just use scrap iron. I 
I need something that can just destroy Odin. Odin's too strong. Yeah, you go in defense position, boys. Okay. Okay, okay. don't know what to do. Like, if I go for a deck out, at the moment, he's gonna win. I'm gonna deck out first. Now Odin's just a big boy, man. So annoying. Alright. Yeah, keep activating Odin's eye. I mean, you know exactly what I have. I mean, it just helps me out a little bit, to be fair. Right. So he's going to attack with that. Oh, dude, All right, okay, so I need to activate Shooting Star. attack and I'm like scrap iron scarecrow boy and that's an attack I attack that which would be nice okay set down that's fine all right shooting starts back Do I have another formula synchron? Ooh, I don't know what Sus Phantom does, but. Oh my god, Odin's eye is so annoying. But it's also very necessary. <laughs> right. Let me read my cards. So, in this card, you control destroy by your opponent's card, uh, either by battle or card effect, and send a grave. You can set one star dragon in your grave, special limit, face up defense position. Who will play this card in the graveyard? Just let one face up. Okay. Right. Let's go this. Summon this. Get a formula synchron. So we've got a formula synchron. Pretty sure that we're running against us. Phantom first, but I can actually keep this alive. Actually, it'll be fine. Get you in defense. I'm going to try and get another shooting star out. Come on. God draw, God draw. Uh. Phase. Let's attack you. Nice. Oh, dude, this is such a long duel, but if we turn this around, I'm going to be so happy with myself. I mean, the AI is a bit stupid, so it's all good. Ooh. Right. 
cool. We about to get a second shooting star soon, boy. Just I don't know how we're gonna beat Odin. <laughs> like, if we can just we got like a, a that synchro blast wave thing, something like that, just to, I don't know, help out. That could actually come in handy. Wait, do we even have, we don't have Turbo Warrior in the deck, do we? defense that would be good um, so let's set you ready to get Stardust us back if he wants to try and attack it and let's attack this dude I'm gonna end up doing this. It's gonna work. Promise. Gonna, I can't lose this door, man. Cannot lose it. <sighs> right. Yeah, you can see what I got. Not you don't know already. If you want to attack the Stardust, well, the face down, that'd be. You're more than welcome, dude. Nice. Go on. You know you want to attack it. Oh, okay. Attacking that, yeah, it's fine. Go for it. Yep. Stardust Dragon. Hey, boy. We about to get up the shooting star. We can do it right now, right? Just with a quick effect. It might have to be main phase, but it's all good. <laughs> Double shooting star, baby! No, I don't want to fit that. Oh, let's go. Wait, can we win here? Oh, I, don't, I think it's a little bit off, but... Okay. Second shooting star. Let's go, boys. All right, battle phase. You attack you. Oh, I think we win. Oh, dude, I think we finally, finally win. Yeah, we finally win, because he was stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> Turn that duel around! Whew! You say defeated Heldor and Team Fidees moved on to the finals. Hey! Man, that was good. Alright, well we got the uh, the final three duels then. Um, we'll be doing that next time. Oh dude, these were some pretty epic duels today. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.